good YouTube appreciate y'all checking in man my trip here in the Philippines is coming to an end slowly but surely a few more days left then I'm heading out here and going over to Phuket Thailand for a little while so y'all can look forward to seeing some more content there but uh, without any further ado thanks everyone for the likes and the subs I really do appreciate it um, yeah man it just means a lot to me so let's get into the video I'm gonna try to break this up into a few different topics so you guys can skip around if you want to, if you need to. Um, I think, first of all though, it's pretty big topic, I would say, the dating apps. Um, pretty huge thing here. Um, there's a ton of Filipinas on those dating apps, Tinder, Bumble, Pina Love. All those dating apps are actually really good here. And actually, here's the kicker. Um, I would actually recommend Bumble above all the other dating apps um, as you know uh, the woman is expected to initiate or they have to initiate on those apps and Filipinas do it I mean like they usually don't let the matches die and they don't like throw like super dry conversations at you they'll say the same things over and over again how long are you staying where are you from etc but they will make an effort to make a conversation and that's refreshing but uh, Look, here's an example of just the like ratio and like uh, how my matches have not only like improved in quality of women, but like they've also just multiplied, if that makes sense. Um, and it's refreshing, man. It's, it's really refreshing, um, especially because nothing's changed. This is my exact profile I had back home and I, I just moved locations, you know, it's, it's kind of amazing. So um, definitely recommend. But even just the conversations man the women here are trying they're putting their best foot forward like look look at this there is no shot that i would ever hear this from a girl in america and that's not, not to say it does exist all right i'm sure it does but I, i've never heard that before in my life never bro not not even not even close so it's just refreshing man it's, it's just really refreshing um the amount of effort that uh, women here or foreign, you know, women put into, you know, what they see as a potential, potentially great man, it's just night and day. It's really night and day. Another thing uh, that's probably important just to understand is stereotypes here in the Philippines. And, and honestly, I'd say most of Southeast Asia, um, there is like certain stereotypes or like, uh, images that are associated with like Americans and for in my specific situation like African Americans right being black here is honestly like a celebrity status and it is I don't even under I don't even know how to feel about it it is crazy man um, you probably saw in my highlights um, the bar girls call me Jaden Smith <laughs> They call me Jaden Smith or Chris Brown. Now, you guys, you guys see me pretty clearly here. There's no shots. <laughs> There's no shot, bro. And I mean, obviously, that's a that's a compliment. That's a huge compliment. You know, those guys are statuses. Uh, disregard looks, because I don't know what they look like appealing to a woman. But like status wise, it's like, oh, it's a huge compliment. You know what I mean? But. Um, and I think it's because they haven't seen that many young African-American men, et cetera. So it's just like, it's refreshing. Bro. And we'll get into bar girls later in this video too. That's a whole separate topic. But um, as far as the expectations and the stereotypes goes, just know that they exist for you. A hundred percent, without a doubt, they exist. And a lot of the Filipinas are using, that. that is something that is grounded in their head that they're using to make some kind of determination of whether it is they're going to see you that day whether they're going to pursue you whether they're going to 
accept your date request, whatever, just know that they are 100% thinking about it. Now, maybe it might not be, you know, something that's far in the forefront and, and it may not be like all of their driving decision factors, right? But it's in the back of their head, right? Like, oh, this is a foreigner. Oh, he is rich here, right? Because of the money conversion, which is true. That's not necessarily just a stereotype. That's true. If you make like 40K or something like that back in the States, you're, <clears throat> you can essentially double it, right? You're making close to 80, maybe more. I'm doing a lazy conversion right now, but you know, it's probably more. And a lot of Filipinos, most of them understand and they know that, right? So all those things come into account and they come into effect whenever you're just chatting one up that you maybe even just saw at the mall. And that segues into probably my next portion of this video that I think's probably pretty important for a lot of folks and something I think is good for not only self-esteem, mental health, etc. cetera, uh, and that's cold approaches. Now I wanted to dedicate a section to this because I think men have been um, deterred from doing cold approaches for the most part in the West because it's just, nine times out of ten it's not gonna go well and I mean that in the sense that I feel like we've all attempted or tried cold approaches at one point and, and maybe and the results weren't what we wanted or uh, we built up so much anxiety around actually going out and attempting to talk to said female when it finally happened and we got shot down we're like well that fucking sucked I'm never doing that again it's blah 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 which is fair right um but I think there's some of that anxiety needs to be tackled because I feel like you gain so much confidence and uh, so much uh, self-esteem, I guess, boost from attempting and from doing cold approaches if you're a single man dating, right? Um, and I think the best place to do it is when you're traveling. I mean, Southeast Asia, like the Philippines, Thailand, I've tr I've attempted cold approaches quite a bit uh, in my travels, and it, I'm almost 10 for 10. I mean, not literally 10, like just flat out 10, 10, but like it, if I'm shooting, it rarely misses. And I'm, that's not, and sometimes it goes in and it's still, and it may not even fully go in. It may be like a miss, like they may not really be feeling me like that, or maybe they have a boyfriend, whatever, but they'll still, one, they're super sweet, and like they'll entertain the conversation and they'll probably still even give you an Instagram or something like that. Um, and maybe they just won't respond to you anymore or they'll just leave you as like a mutual follower, right? You both follow each other, something like that, which is cool. I mean, that's totally fine with me because I went, I did make that initial um, leap, right? That leap of faith, like, all right, let me get over this stupid anxiety. Let me just talk to this girl because I think she's really cute, you know? Um, stop overthinking and stop like um, having all these detrimental thoughts of what could possibly happen. Not care as much and just do it. Now this has to be talked about, and this is uh, bar girls. Now bar girls um, in different parts of different Asian countries. Uh, I think honestly, I think it's just a good time. I think it's fun to interact with like uh, bar girls. They're usually they have pretty bubbly personalities, and 
you know, they'll chat you up and usually the expectation is for you to buy them a drink. So usually here specifically, it's about 220 pesos for a bar girl drink or a girl drink. And that's about $4. So um, I guess it can add up pretty fast, but to me, it, seems, it just make, it just feels like I'm paying for entertainment pretty much. And it's pretty entertaining. I mean, look, these girls are usually super sweet, usually pretty young, pretty cute. And they just chat you up, you know, they'll, they'll talk about whatever under the sun that you want to talk about. And this is another self-esteem booster. It's a good place to go to just chat and have a good time. I would just say be careful because I know um, a lot of times foreigners will go out and they'll get like, they'll fall in love with bar girls and stuff, which is fine. I mean, they're women just like anyone else, but be careful any time uh, love initiates or any kind of relationship initiates with like transaction or any kind of like money transaction those are usually uh recipes for a disaster but these girls are sweet and if you're looking for like uh friends or whatever uh, they are not immune to the foreigner effect if you shoot your shot and they're feeling you it's, it's most likely going to go in i've met some bar girls before that i you know asked for their instagram and, and hit them up later and took them out on a date and they were super sweet and so we're still friends to this day. So. Are you shy? Are you shy? Yes, um, live life to the fullest. Even if you're feeling down, each night. That's it, that's it. That's it. You can be over here. What do you mean, opposite? Yeah, this is this one. Are you drunk? No! Oh, I need to You're so beautiful. I sat there one time. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say hi? <laughs> you can tell me, Instagram, shout out. Hello, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Hello, my YouTube channel. Hi, welcome to my vlog. Say hi. It's Chris Brown's vlog. Yes, say hi to Chris Brown's vlog. Hi. What's your name? He's so tall with a big dick. He's so tall with a big dick. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to me. 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 Hi guys, Happy me again! You came over here really fast when I said it to you. I'll put too late. Too late. Too late. That's too late. That's one for too late. One for too late. One for too late. One for too You're the main character. You're the main character. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so.
So that's been some of my thoughts on what it's like dating in the Philippines, man, as a black American. Um, if you guys gained anything, if you made it this far in the video, please put, give me a like, uh, give me a subscribe and give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, overall thoughts, man, if you're a man that feels underappreciated dating in the West, come to the Philippines, bro. It's just that easy. Um, I'm heading over to Phuket, Thailand. Thailand. Um, so hopefully you guys will come third wheel with me there. So I'll see you there soon. Bye.